Up Your Personal Brand course. I'm Carol Cox, founder of Speaking Your Brand. And with me is Diane Diaz, our lead speaking coach of Speaking Your Brand and your primary instructor here for this course. Diane, hi. Hello. I'm so excited that we're doing this. I am too. We have other courses that we've created. And of course, we we work with our clients one-on-one as well as in a group in our Thought Leader Academy. And this idea of personal brand related to public speaking and to thought leadership comes up quite a bit. So we figured that we would put this course together to help you establish your personal brand because that really becomes the foundation for what you're doing as a speaker, as a thought leader, as an entrepreneur, and, or as a career professional wherever you happen to be. So in this overview video, we're going to talk a little bit about who this is for. We're going to talk, you know, why Diane is so passionate about personal branding, because this really is your area of expertise. And then we'll walk you through a little bit of of the course. So let's get started first. Diane, when you were working on the the videos and the modules Mm -hmm. for this course, who did you have in mind? Mm, Yes, that's a really great question. I think this is a really great course for women entrepreneurs, women professionals who maybe they want to have a bigger impact with whatever work they're doing in their business or in their company or whatever they're creating on the side. Um, They want to attract more of the right clients, more of the right opportunities like speaking engagements, um, workshops, things like that. They maybe want to get a bigger sense of fulfillment and meaning from the work that they're doing because then it will align their values with their work and they get to use their voice in that work and it comes through clearly. Um, And also, I think they'll gain a lot of clarity, clarity and confidence. So anyone that's looking for more confidence in the work they do, more confidence with who they are and how that shows up in the work they do, I think it's a really great fit for women like that. And I know this idea of of having a personal brand can feel really fuzzy and really vague, which is hence why we've created this course to really kind of give you the nuts and bolts of what it looks like to have a personal brand and how to go about cultivating it. And when I say the word cultivate, that does not mean that you're creating a facade of who you are. It's actually quite the opposite. It's really to bring more of who you are, who the real you is, this new authentic you bringing that out so that you are attracting the clients that you want the opportunities that you want, because you'll be fine. And I know Diane and we have found this with ourselves as we have, you know, dug deeper into finding our voice and using our voice that the opportunities that we get, whether it's podcast interviews, media interviews, speaking invitations are so much better aligned with what lights us up. That is so true. And, you know, I've worked with, I've worked with a lot of clients through Speaking Your Brand, but then before Speaking Your Brand, and I had my own company doing personal brand strategy. And I found that most women, people just in general, don't really sit around and think about who am I and what do I stand for? We just don't do that. Right. So we start a business or we're in our career and we, you know, we're doing the work we love. We're working with clients we love, but we're not sure, are we really showing up as us? And then there's all, oftentimes this misunderstanding about, oh no, I have my business over here, my professional brand, then I have the personal me over here. And really you only have the one personal brand. And so really digging into understanding what all the facets of that are, how it shows up in the work you do, how it shows up in what you're putting out there into the world on social media, in person at speaking engagements is so important to helping your audience to connect with you on a deeper level. So really, truly understanding what your personal brand is and what it stands for is going to really amplify your message, amplify the work you do, and really just make a much bigger impact. Absolutely. And I know that there can be some fear, some uncertainty, some self-doubt around finding your voice and using your voice, putting more of yourself out there because it, you know, it definitely feels scarier than kind of hiding behind the business expertise that you have, but hence why this course is going to walk you through how to do this in a way that feels comfortable for you. Cause of course we always like to push you a little bit because that's our job here (laughs) and our mission is seeking your brand, but we also want to do it in a way that you feel comfortable. So Go through and then and Diane, as she as she walks you through the videos and the modules, she you're gonna have worksheets and things that you can yes. do to start putting yourself out there and figuring out what resonates with you and what resonates with your audiences. Mm-hmm. 
Diane, so as you mentioned, uh, in speaking your brand, working with our clients, and even before when you had the brand teacher business, you just kind of, you fell into personal branding uh, be- naturally because it was something that you were really interested in. Where did that, where did that interest come from? Yeah, it's so funny that I did kind of fall into something that actually had served me really well. And I, I think, you know, we didn't call it personal branding back in the day, but I realized in my career early on that, you, you know, you have to present yourself a certain way in business, but when it's not really who you are and you feel that inauthenticity, it doesn't feel good and your work doesn't light you up and it doesn't do it for you and you're not as excited about it. And so then it's not as fulfilling. And so I kind of realized early on that, oh, if you find something you love and then you are who you are yourself all the time in that work with everyone, it's so much more fulfilling. So it, it, it sparked me to end up wanting to work with women to help them kind of dig in and figure out what is their personal brand? How can they make sure they're being authentic everywhere it shows up? Because it just, it gives the world, I think, a better you. You end up being happier. And frankly, your clients will end up being happier as well because everybody's getting the authentic you and the work that you do then does have that much bigger impact and so much more meaning. Absolutely. And the more that you open up, and show more of yourself and use your voice than the role that you're role modeling it for yes. other women who are out there, younger women, older women, women of the same peer group. It really has a domino effect mm-hmm. of you doing this and then role modeling it for others. And then Diane, I believe this is in one of your videos and I don't want to give it away, <laughs> but I believe there's a story from when you were in your twenties about one of the first jobs that you had and something and some feedback that you got that really surprised you that you weren't expecting. Is that one of the stories that you share? Actually, that's a great question. And no, I didn't share the story. There is a photo from one of my first jobs, but let me tell a little bit about that story. And this is why personal branding is so important. And we do talk, or I do talk in some of the videos about this importance of understanding what your audience is saying about you. So stay tuned for more of that in the course. But the story was that my, I was actually let go, fired from from my first job because they said I had a bad phone manner and I was taken aback and just entirely shocked because I'm from the South. And I thought that's not possible for me to have a bad phone manner. But as I thought about it, I thought, you know, what if there's just a little shred of truth to that? Then I'm maybe I should work on that, right? And fix it because I can't be in marketing and doing the work that I want to do if I have bad communications. So I listened to my audience. I fixed it. And then, you know, I'm not saying that that's a thing that like propelled my career, but it certainly made getting jobs and doing the job well and having the people there be happy with the work I was doing, it made it a lot easier to facilitate that because I recognized kind of where the missteps were and how I could bring more alignment. Now, again, didn't call it personal branding, but that's essentially what was happening. And that brings to mind that there are so many different touch points Mm. for your personal brand. So a lot of times we think it's our website, perhaps it's what we choose to post on social media, but there are so many other facets of our personal brand and where personal brands show up. Yes. And we're going to go into that in the course and we're going to talk about, you know, laying the foundation for all of that, but then examining all those places where your personal brand shows up because it's way more than you think it is. It's literally everywhere. So you really have to kind of dig in and see where things are in alignment, where they aren't in alignment and kind of bring everything together. And I know one of the other questions that we get a lot from, from women who we work with is kind of like how, uh, how out there should they be with their opinions or with their values or, you know, things that are going on in our society, maybe things that are going on politically. And so in the modules that I'm going to cover, I'm going to share some of my background related to that and how I have chosen to kind of navigate those waters and what the impact has been for me personally and for speaking your brand. So I know that's a question that we get a lot. So that is that's something we do talk about in this course. Mm, good. Diane, can you give us an overview of the modules uh, that are in the course and kind of how how the you all the person can go through them and what they're gonna uh, see as they go through? Yes, absolutely. So it's very logically 
oriented the way you, you'll find when you first start, of course, because that's how we roll here. <laughs> but, you know, it takes you from the beginning and the foundational principles sort of in a build. So each module kind of builds on the previous module. So it's, it's helpful to go through them in order. Um, so we have six modules and we cover everything from the foundational elements of what, what a personal brand is, what that means, defining your personal brand and thought leadership goals, because we can't do anything unless we know what our goals are. And then building your personal brand and thought leadership presence, because once you have the, once you know what your personal brand is, you know what your goals are. Now you're ready to kind of build what that looks like. And then how do you maintain that going forward? Because it is not, as you'll see in the videos in the course, it's not set it and forget it. You have to continually work on this. So then how do we maintain it and how do we grow it going forward? And then we wrap up with some next steps that you can take to take an even greater um, role with your personal brand and do even deeper work with that. Fantastic. And I know that each module has several lessons in it. So it's video yes. content. We have slides mm -hmm. that are narrated uh, by one of us. And then there's worksheets right. that you can download that you, and we highly encourage you to do the worksheets, do the questions on there as you go along, because that's mm -hmm. going to unlock a lot of, of what you're obviously you're listening and you're learning, but it's the action. It's actually mm -hmm. writing down things that's going to unlock a lot of these ideas that you have. Yes. Yes. And so we do have available that you can book a strategy session. If as you're going along, you find that you're getting stuck in your head, which you are far from alone. All of us get stuck in our head. I get stuck in my head. Diane does. That's why we talk to each other. We hire coaches to help us to get unstuck and also to get feedback and, and to give us ideas on what we're working on. So you'll see as you go through the courses, a link where you can uh, book a strategy session. So feel free to do that anytime along the way. And we'd be more than happy to help you with that. And also make sure to connect with us on social media. We primarily hang out on LinkedIn. We're also on Instagram a little bit. Really, LinkedIn, though, is the place where we mostly are. So we'll make sure to include links here in this overview module so you can connect with us. And we very much look, look forward to learning more about you. Enjoy the course. <laughs>